uh, in this OGE uh, we're gonna learn how to solve an inequality so what is an inequality so inequality means a mathematical expression with any of those four uh, mathematical symbols so less than less than or equal greater than or greater than or equal for example so this is a uh, inequality so it says that solve the inequality x squared minus x minus 12 greater than or equal 0 so the problem is um, what what it mean by solve the inequality so we know like when we say solve an, solve an equation so we try to find the values that satisfy the equation the same thing here so you can see that find all x that satisfies the inequality so not like in um, solving an equation when you solve an equation you get discrete values but when you solve an inequality you do not get discrete values your solution sets are intervals so that is the major difference between solving an equation and solving an inequality so you get your solution sets are, are intervals it will be clear when we do uh, more problems uh, so, so let's look at this problem again so solve the inequality so there are two ways to solve uh, such an uh, inequality so the first and most common method is what we call the algebraic method so that means we're going to use basic algebra to solve uh, the inequality so only time you have to be careful is when you multiply by a negative number so when you multiply uh, multiply or divide when you multiply or divide uh, by an uh, by a negative number when you um, multiply or divide by a negative number by a negative negative number so what's going to happen when you multiply your divide by a negative number it's going to switch the inequality so that means let's say you have an inequality like that it's going to change this to the other one so that's what happening going to flip the uh, sign so that is the only one you need to worry about so when you multiply your divide uh, by a negative number it's going to flip the inequality but otherwise Every, all the other steps are pretty much same as solving an equation so and as I mentioned before um, okay and, and the second method is what we normally call the uh, geometric method so when you do the uh, geometric method what we can do we can look at the graph of the function and then we can find the region that satisfies the equation so um, as mentioned before the solution set is an interval so the uh, the solution set uh, is an intervals that's the major difference between solving an equation and solving an inequality so uh, first let's look at the algebraic method so we can talk about the algebraic method first so you can see so uh, so the goal is solve the inequality and then uh, what we can do so we can assume that so let's say uh, suppose uh, suppose x uh, satisfies satisfies uh, the inequality uh, we have here x squared minus x minus 12 greater than or equal 0 so as the first step as the first step uh, what we're going to do we're going to factor so that's the first step we're going to factor so uh, so what are the factors so what we need to do is you have negative 12 here so even if you have negative 12 and then we're going to find two numbers when you multiply you get negative 12 when you add them you get negative 4 so what are those two numbers you can see that it is negative 4 and 3 so those are the two numbers when you multiply uh, you get negative 12 when you add you get negative 1 so that means since you know those factors then you can write the uh, factorization directly so it is x minus 4 and then x plus 3 so those are the factoring so we're done with the factoring uh, so the next step is uh, what we can do we're gonna find the zeros so the next step is find zeros find zeros uh, so how to do that we're gonna set uh, those uh, uh, two uh, factors equal to zero so that means uh, we're gonna say x minus 4 equal to 0 or x plus 3 equal to 0 and then adding 4 this says that x equal 4 or adding negative 3 this is that x equal negative 3 so those are two zeros so after we get the zeros what we can do are uh, we can uh, draw what we call the sign diagram so we can draw the sign diagram sign 
diagram. Uh, so uh, what we do, we draw a line and then put them in the order of smaller to the larger. So smallest is negative 3 and the largest is 4. So it has to be negative, uh, smaller to larger. It doesn't matter how many we have, we put them in that order. Now the next step is we're going to pick a test point. So we try to find like good test point which are not too big to uh, handle or not too small to um, handle. So for example, uh, in the first one, and you can see that, uh, uh, so, so so you can see once you do that, this gonna break the uh, number line into three intervals. The, uh, the first interval going from negative infinity to negative uh, three, and the, the second interval going from negative two, negative three to four, the four, third interval going from four to infinity. Those are three intervals. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pick a test point in each interval. So let's start, let's go to the rightmost one. So let's say uh, I'm going to pick the test point as 5. You can see that that's the best point you can It's not too far um, and not too close. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to plug in this test point in the inequality. Okay. So we're going to plug it into those factors and we just check the sign. We don't need the numbers. We just need to check the sign. So that means, for example, if you plug in uh, t equal 5, like a uh, uh, I just press the T for the test point. So if you plug in just uh, 5 uh, into the uh, first bracket, first uh, factor, you can see that it is 5 minus 4. 5 minus 4 means, uh, which is 1, so that means it is positive. So this is the only thing we need, positive. And if you plug in the same one in the second uh, factor, you can see it is x plus 3, that means it is 5 plus 3, that means 8, so that means this is also positive. So now what we are doing here, uh, you can see that we are multiplying the two factors. That means when you multiply positive, positive, you get positive. So the argument is if it is positive for one, it's positive for all. The reason is if you plug in any other value, you can see the calculation is pretty much the same. You get the same sign. Okay. So that means any value you plug in, you get the exact same one. So that may be it like that to mean that it's positive everywhere on that interval. Now we can do the same thing with the other interval. So let's see uh, t equal, what's the best point you can pick? And if you, if you see zero uh, in that interval, pick zero because it's very easy to handle. So I'm going to pick uh, t equals zero. And we do the same thing. We're going to go to the two factors uh, right here. And then uh, you can see uh, we can, we're going to plug in there. So if you put t equals zero in the first one, it is uh, zero minus four. That means minus four. That means it is minus. Okay. And then if you do the same thing with the other one, if you say t, uh, t equals 0 in the second one, it is x plus 3, that means 0 plus 3, which is 3, that means positive. Now again, we are multiplying the two, that means you get the negative sign, that means negative everywhere. You only need to check one point because it's the same, very similar argument if you pick a different value, uh, for example, negative 2, negative 1 or 2, you still get the same sign. Now go to the last one, so you can see I, I'm going to pick t equal, the best point will be negative 4, which is on the le uh, left side of that, and we're going to plug in. So if you plug in negative 4 in the first uh, uh, factor, what's going to happen is negative 4, negative 4 means negative 8, so which is negative. And then if you plug in there for the second one, which is negative 4 plus 3, which is a negative 1, so which is negative. Now what we are doing, we are multiplying them, so negative, negative means positive, so you get a positive sign, so that means it's positive here. So that means that is the sign diagram. Uh, so we see that it is um, positive in the first interval, negative in the second interval, and then positive in the uh, third interval. Now what we do after that, we're going to check the uh, condition that we need. And we need uh, that the product of those factors has to be positive. So that means we're going to check in what interval which is positive. So you can see that it is positive in the first interval. And uh, um, so it's positive here the first interval and also in the third interval. So we're going to uh, pick those two intervals and write at the solution. And also we need to check one more condition. And you notice that there is an equal sign. There's an equal sign there. So this equal sign means um, we also get the values where this uh, product exactly equal to zero. And you can see that, for example, if you plug in x equal four, which is zero, the first bracket is zero. If the first uh, uh, factor is zero, the product is zero. So that means x equal four is a solution. So that means when you write the interval, you have to include the end point in the, in the third interval. 
Uh, so and also if you plug in negative 3 and you can see that the second fact is zero. that means negative 3 is also a solution so that means you also need to include negative 3 so that means now we can write the um, the solution so uh, so we can write the solution set now so you can see it's going from negative infinity to negative 3 including and then union we put a union and then um, 4 to infinity including 4 because 4 is also a solution so this happened when there's an equal sign so that means we can write the solution set now um, so uh, so the last step is uh, write the solution set so write uh, the solution set okay write the solution set solution set so uh, you can write the solutions in several different ways uh, like there are actually in general four different ways uh, so let's do three uh, right now uh, so let's write the uh, uh, so we can uh, do the number line version we draw it so and you can see um, so we have those two numbers so we have negative three and you can see that uh, it's negative uh, three including so that means we're gonna do it like that uh, that's the notation for including and then uh, it's also for including so that's the notation and then we're gonna make it solid so we're gonna uh, make it a solid line uh, like that so it's a uh, little thicker than the other rest of the uh, graph uh, this we call a graph so um, so this is what happened so uh, so that's the uh, just a graphical version of the uh, solution set um, so it's going from negative infinity to negative 3 and then 4 to infinity um, and you can say x good that's the first version okay so the second version uh, you can um, write the set builder notation you can explain the set so uh, how to explain the set so you can say uh, what kind of x we have here so x such that you can see x less than or equal to negative 3 you can say oh it's not an and because and means uh, it should satisfy both conditions and you can see that there's no value uh, which satisfies uh, both conditions um, so i'm gonna actually put zero here um, and then the other one is uh, you can see that x has to be bigger than four so that's the set builder version and then also we have uh, the interval notation so the interval notation is negative infinity uh, to negative three and then including that's the close interval uh, we're going to say it's a, it's a close so we're going to use the uh, bracket so this is a closed version but that point is there and then we say union uh, and the other one which is four to infinity so that's the interval notation so the graphical version this is the graphical graphical and then we have the um, set builder and then we have the interval notation the other method is the verbal express you can explain the set in in words so i'm not going to do that uh, this time so so this is what we uh, call the uh, algebraic method to solve the uh, problem so the solution set is the last one which is an interval so now uh, and also uh, there's a shortcut so let's talk about the shortcut now uh, so what's a shortcut and you can see that uh, so i'm going to say shortcut so the shortcut is uh, if the uh, inequality is uh, greater than or e greater than inequality that means if when you have greater than you're going to get the uh, outside so that's what happens you can see if you look at uh the solution set uh, so this is like another way to write the solution set uh, like uh, using the solid dot so you can see that what happened is uh, you get the values outside okay so you can see uh, values are over here and over there so that means it's larger than the larger and it's smaller than the smaller so we can call it uh, uh, outside okay so outside and uh, you're going to include the equal sign depending on whether you have an equal sign or not. Uh, and then also, uh, what's the reason? And you can see the reason is uh, on this side, both were positive. 
because those numbers are larger than at the larger ones that means those factors always going to be positive and here what happened both factors are smaller uh, i mean both numbers are smaller than those ending values so that means both negative so that means can get positive so that's the, that's the reason either both negative or both positive so this we can consider as a shortcut so what will happen when you have a, a greater than uh, or uh, greater than or equal so what happened are uh, you going to pick the values outside of uh, of the uh, the numbers good so let's talk about the uh, geometric method now so in the geometric method what we normally do is uh, we're going to graph the function so uh, let's look at that now in the geometric method what we're going to do is we're going to graph the function um, so in this case if there are two functions we have to graph those two um, so what we do basically is graph the uh, functions uh, available so let's start with the uh, problem again so we're going to say in this case we have y equal um, x squared minus x minus 12 so um, and then what we normally do is uh, we're going to factor this so you can see the factors are uh, x minus 4 and x plus 3 that is the uh, factored version and then we find the zeros so the next step is find the zeros uh, that's how we like normally uh, do this so find uh, zeros so uh, to find zeros um, as we did before we can set those uh, two factors equal to zero so o x plus three equals zero and then you're gonna get x equal four uh, actually this is a uh, you can see since we are finding zeros and you for, for in this case you can we can say it's and okay because we are looking for the zero so it is x equal negative three good uh, now uh, we can check the uh, the direction of this one so we know that this is uh, uh, this is like a special case for this one um, the goal is to uh, graph this function but we know that in this case this is concave up uh, the reason is um, the uh, the coefficient of x squared coefficient of coefficient of x squared is positive so that means uh, it's like opens up so it opens up the reason is coefficient of x squared is one so which is positive so that means you should get a graph uh, like this it's going up concave up okay so we have all the information we need now we can uh, graph the function so since we have those uh, two zeros the graph should pass those uh, at those two um, x intercepts so then we're gonna get this graph so we have uh, negative three and four so we get uh, this graph now what we can do um, so you can see that so we're going to check the condition now so what we need we need the y value of the graph are uh, positive so you can see y value of the graph positive you can see uh, over here so in this side you can see if you pick uh, the y value you can see it uh, is positive so that means this part and also you can see if you look at this side you can see the corresponding y values uh, which are above the x-axis so basically we're checking wh whether it's above the x-axis or below the x-axis and you can see on those two regions uh, the y values are above the x-axis so here is y positive and then also here the y value is positive so that means uh, we are looking for the corresponding x values so if you look at the corresponding x values and you can see it is on this side and on that side so that means if you write the solution set now what we can do after that uh, write the solution set so write the solution uh, and you can see it is simply as before negative infinity to negative 3 and including because that's equal sign and the union and you're gonna get uh, 4 to infinity so that's how you solve the problem so you look at the graph and check on what region the corresponding y values are positive because it's a positive problem if it's a, a less than inequality we can check where the y values are negative and then look for the corresponding x values because we are looking for to solve for x so we look for the corresponding x values and then we write because since they are outside you write this as a as a union so that's how you solve the problem using the geometric method and you may try uh, these problems as uh, practice problems and you can find the solutions in a separate video you can find the link in the description